Hey everybody, Swordsmith here, and today I have to deliver some bad news. Unfortunately, the last video I made for this single player survival was. I don't really know what happened. Audio was just really choppy. It was like. So I didn't end up posting that video, but I did get a pretty big project done. Um, so this is the coal storage system. So this will automatically deposit coal into furnaces for me. So as you can see, they're all pretty much full of a mostly equal amount of coal, as equal as it can get when I'm cooking stuff in some of them. So yeah, it's not super perfect, but it is nonetheless pretty handy and helpful. So basically what you have to do is just put coal in here, then you send this mine card on its way. Whee! And then this happens. This is I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't I don't I don't know. We I have really no idea. But that keeps happening. Um but once you send the minecart on its way, if we go in here, it should already have made about one or two circuits. Let's see. Let's see where this card is. Um, oh, I think it's already on its way back. Okay. Alright, so it basically just runs around, gives cold to all of these things, and then goes back down into the other area. Let's see if it's back. Yeah, it's back. We just barely missed it. Okay. Yeah, so that took a long time. I don't really know why. It just took a really, really, really long time. And I made a lot of redstone stuff for it, though, so now we have quite a bit of pre-made redstone jazz, so that is... That's pretty handy, actually. I do like having some of my redstone stuff made for me. Uh, let's make some torches really quick. Anyway, to today's episode, I was going to be working on a cow farm, and I'll probably be breeding a couple cows here and there, but I don't really have the TNT necessary to expand this tunnel, so today I thought it would be kind of nice if we built a little village slash fishing shack. Huh? Does that sound fun? I don't know, I just thought it would be nice to, since I have so much underground stuff going, I, well not really all that much, I really don't have that much overground, above ground stuff. I have a farm over there, I have a horrible chicken farm that doesn't even work and all the chickens are dead, I have the base camp statue, and I have a bridge. So there's not a lot here at the moment. Uh, but I did make some diamond tools since last episode, and all of that, so that's pretty helpful. Um, my horse, I got, I actually got some more cows, um, that's also nice, so I'll be breeding them now, and hopefully we'll have some cows for the future. Whoa. Nelly. Horse jumped high. So yeah, hopefully we can have some stuff for the future. My idea originally of, like, making boats that would, you know, go around here, I'm not really working too much on that. I don't really know why. I just haven't been interested in doing that at the moment. So, I'm going to be today working on the fishing shack, which I am thinking of putting over here. Now, I'm not really sure what the, exactly the theme of this shack is going to be. Probably something not too fancy. It's, of course, a shack. So, it'll probably have some rooms in it, like two or three rooms, maybe, at most. Uh, but first, we gotta clear out some of these trees. So, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ta-da! The base construction is complete of removing the trees. Actually, I have to get that one really quick. But no, no matter. Uh, we're just going to be building it up here. I'm going to lay the foundation down, and I'll see you guys when I do that. Alright, so I laid out... Well, I lay, lied? Laid out a thing for what I thought we could do for this fishing shack. And then I thought of a much better idea. I just took down that layout of like dirt and leaves and stuff that I was just using to mark a place for blocks. And I thought, why don't I make it on the water? Because if you look at a picture of a fishing shack, most of them are usually on top of water and they're like held up on little stilts or something. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do that and a little more unique than more like I guess mainstream fishing shacks where none of it is on the water and it's all next to the shore. So I'm just taking down this old chicken farm really quick. And it wasn't ever even a chicken farm. I don't know what this is. This is just something I thought up in my head that would be perfect and like do something for chickens. It did nothing absolutely at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just like, oh, if I throw eggs in here they'll multiply or something. I don't know. I was tired. Don't blame me. Okay. So we've got this cleared out, and then I think we'll have it probably, let's see, I don't know if we want it, like, specifically in the ocean. I cleared this out, by the way, because I'm going to have a future plan for something I was going to put here, and I just thought it would look ugly, too, for the fishing shack to have it there. So I think we'll have the fishing shack actually still over there in that lake, because the ocean is going to have something else nearby it, so, so we'll probably do it right, let's see. Uh, probably right about here. Okay, let's just build this up a little bit, and then... Let me get the layout done. Alright, I have the basic floor plan here laid out. I just set it to daytime by sleeping, of course. And I, I think I have my plan of how this is going to work. Probably going to add another block there, there... Yeah, and then that'll probably be all the side blocks that I add. And it's supposed to have a pretty rundown, I guess you could say, appearance. So if I get rid of these, you can see I substituted some fence posts here and there. I'll probably do one also here. You know, just to give the impression that it's kind of frail and, like, breaking or something. So, boop. I mean, that's not what I wanted. What am I doing? Ah. We wanted to land here. And then... fence. Okay, so now we have this sort of frailty impression. Looks like it could fall over at any moment. And then I think to get up there, I'm gonna have... Well, probably a trapdoor that goes down, like, under here, about. Maybe, or, like, right there. Probably have a trapdoor here. And there'll probably... There'll be, like, a ladder or something. So let's just go ahead and get up onto here, and then come plunk down a crafting table, because I'm sure every fishing ta shack has some sort of gut cleaning table, or, you know, something that they clean fish guts out on, or something gross, I don't know. Who knows, not me. Alright, trap doors, let's throw out these levers. Okay, and then we'll have something going down there. And then for the walls, I think I'm going to make them out of just like haphazard planks and more sticks and stuff. Let me just go ahead and look at, pull up my picture. Okay, so I came up with an idea that I would make the bottom part of this out of dark oak so that it would look rather like... It would just look more wet, I guess, on the bottom, so it looked like it was actually being affected by the water, like the supports, rather than just being like all dry and old looking like the oak. Also, I'm clipping some sheep, because I'm planning on doing some kind of pixel art thing for the cow farm, so yeah, I'm doing that. Um, I'm mainly just getting the white sheep, though. But anyway, so I'm over here by the dark oak forest, and I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. It's where I get all of my dark oak if I should ever need any, and it's actually pretty large. So there's quite a bit in there. How much wool do I have now? Twelve? Not too shabby. Let's get a little more. 
Oh, that guy's gray wool. Okay. So, let's head on back to the pony. Where did he go? He's up there. Okay. And then I guess I'll go chop down some dark oak and show you guys around. I think I have a little shack in there still, possibly. Every once in a while I come out here and I just, you know, putz around in my shack. But I guess I'll just... Yeah, I don't see it. I think I took it down. Oh, that's right. I did. Okay, so I'm going to cut down some dark oak and I'll see you guys then. My horse is just chilling on this tree. No problems. I think I found a satanic worshipper cult. Um, there's like three witches right, right here. A little frightened. Do I have arrows? Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let me show you guys what I have gotten going so far. Probably going to take out the dark oak for the flooring area. It just does not really look that awesome. So, yeah. I uh, did get a sapling though, so now I don't have to travel so far, and hopefully I can start up like a dark oak farm of some sort. Uh, but let me let me just show you what I mean. So I'm getting rid of all of these oak pillars, because I think it would look better with the dark oak, because it looks more like wet, like I was saying. It just looks more like the water is actually affecting the wood and not, you know, like drying it out. That would make zero sense. And then past this point, the wood gets a little more dry, so you can kind of see a transition between what the wood looks like. And then down there I'll probably have dark oak planks and then just regular oak. So I think that will look actually quite a bit better than what I've got going right now. And then I might actually build a little speedboat or something to go along on the side of this. I don't know. We'll see. But for right now, if you take a look at this, let me grab oak. So now it just looks like the water is affecting it only a little bit, which is what I like better. So. Now there should be almost a way to get up. If I make just some ladders, we should be good. Also, I might need to, um, yeah, let's just make ladders first. So sticks, ta-da, three ladders, that's perfect enough. And bang, goodbye. Then we take this trap door, and I need to put it on this side of the block so that I can actually get in. And let's just see if this works. So float up, go in, and shut it behind you. Perfect. Okay. And then, I guess I could even add, like, a wooden pressure plate right here. That could be handy. But first, I do need to switch out the flooring. So, let me do that. Alright, I have another idea for what we could do for this shack. I thought it would look kind of cool, actually, if we made some mossy stone bricks for this. So I need one more vine. Uh, so that it looks like the water is sort of just, you know, seeping into the brick and making moss or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go just head over to here. Boing, boing, boing. Perfect lily pad jumping skills. And mossy bricks. Pow. 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 Oh, and I gotta make another one. Bang. Alright, let's see how that looks. Ooh, I like that. Gives it some real definition. I think I might actually do the whole bottom band dealy out of those. And I do have enough moss, I mean, um, leaves to do that, I believe. Or, what are these called? Not leaves. What am I talking about? I do have enough vines to do that. Not leaves. Silly me. Alright, let me just collect some vines and grab some bricks. Alright everyone, I made us some more mossy cobble, and a creeper blew up in here, but it, since stone has such high blast resistance, he did practically nothing. So, not too huge of a problem there. I'm not really sure where my horse has wandered off to. He's kind of like a ditz. He just sort of goes all over the place. I think that's the second time I've used that word in this episode. Yeah, he's way over here. Should probably corral him back in. I sort of did a horrible job of cleaning up the leaves on the trees that I took the vines off, but you know what? It's okay. Give them some definition. Let's just let's see here. Where do I want to start with the banding? Uh, I guess I can start just on this side. Do do do. That down. And then I think I want to extend this part one more right there. And then this can just go on the sides. 
and then I take out this, get rid of that glass, and if that's not right, bang! Sort of a nice old timey look. Oh, I need to get these two. Awesome. Next, well, let's see how that looks first, and then I gotta go sleep. So uh, it's daytime again. I like it. I really like it. Well, I think the fishing shack is just about done. I'm gonna go grab my horse and I can jump into a tree and show you guys what it looks like. Can I jump into a tree? Maybe not. But that's what it looks like up there. I think it doesn't look too bad. It does look a little shabby, but I like that it looks a little shabby. Because that's kind of the purpose of the build, is to look a little bit shabby. Uh, but let me show you what I added. So I added a she sh sh sealing, sealing in the meantime, since our last cut, and added a little bit of lighting. I decided I was just going to do torches. Added the ceiling, got the chest and crafting table moved. So it's sort of just like a smaller project, as you can have probably already noticed. But I think it gets the job done. I did have all the sides open so that if I ever were to actually want to go fishing for whatever reason, I could do that. I have, like, you know, this this whole area open up here, and if you go up here or something, you've got this area. You could even fish here or here, or even go here. So it's kind of a four-pointed fishing hot spot. But I think that's all we're going to be doing for today's video, because that's about all I have time for since the last recording, like, crashed, basically. I don't really know what happened, but whatever. I'm, I don't really mind too much, uh, just time-wise. I don't have a lot of time to do too much more this episode. But if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know with a rating and a like. Oops. I'm sorry. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!